How you doing, America? I want to thank all y'all for praying for me. Not only pray for me, but pray for my enemy. Oh. Good times. Good sign. But uh, pray for my enemy as well, because he's got some problems that he needs to deal with. But a lot of you have wrote me and asked me about the trigger and snares, about setting snare lines. And this is the most effective and simplest way to set a snare that I always could teach anybody. But this is your trigger and your snare. As you see, I went in at a 90 degree angle and I cut it down and I made another one. One of these are stabbed off in the ground. The other one is to a tree with the rope. But this is your easiest trigger and snare that you can ever make because if it comes undone, you see what just happened. I just went and rigged one up and I done pulled the tree down right here. I pulled it down. I cut it off at the top and I've already set a trigger and snare right here. This trigger and snare if you see that these sticks are sitting on the back side of it, not every trapper does this, but I did this just for the simple fact I don't want the animal coming to the back of the trap. I want him to put his head through this noose and pull this. What I got is some coyote yarn and some uh, old haul baker's fox lure. And I put that up there, so I want him to put his head through this noose. Alabama state law says that this trap cannot be, the noose right here cannot be no more than five and a half inches. Anything over that is you're breaking the law, and you don't want to be breaking the law. And uh, but this is how the trigger stand set up. As you see, this is the kinetic energy from this tree is making energy. It's just the same energy as a bow. And check this here out. The, the animal comes. He funnels his head in. He's pulling on it. He's got the bait, and he's he's messing with it. And all of a sudden, got him. He's hanging up there. Now there's my my trigger. Is up here. So that coyote will be hanging, making the worst dog noise that he can ever possibly hear. So you got to stay checking your traps. Every 24 hours, it matters. Not no 72 hours, that that's a water trap. But every 24 hours, check that trap because you don't want somebody, a landowner next door, to hear this thing going off. And then when you come to get your coyote or get your fox out the trap, you got the man, <laughs> the gang warden, standing there asking you for your license and all. But this right here will catch a coyote. It will eliminate your coyote problem because this is a trap that the mountain men have set. When you ain't got no money, you can walk out in the woods and find any old sapling tree and any old twig to make you a trigger and snare. But that wire, it ain't got to be the thickest wire in the world, but you want it tangible. You want it flexible so that you bend it, it'll stay put. If you want it to bend, but it ain't got to be the best in the world. And I like to thank y'all, that is a trigger and snare. A snare line set up to catch any type of animal. I don't care if you want to break the law and make you a big noose, then you can catch a buck if you want. You can catch man. But um, that is up for you to tell and not nobody else. But uh, all of y'all have a safe day and God bless you and thank you all.